What's up, travelers? It's Elise and Derek from Means to Travel, and today we are currently waiting in the line at the ferry terminal to go from Portsmouth to the Isle of Wight. And we're taking our car. So, for those of you who don't know, the Isle of Wight is a rather large island off the coast of England. It's in the English Channel, but it's not one of the Channel Islands, so we're actually allowed to go right now, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, so it's a place where like Queen Victoria and Prince Albert used to go spend a lot of time. There's some castles, some estates, lighthouses, beaches. There's a ton of stuff to see. Nature preserve. Nature preserve. So we've got one day to do it. So let's see how much we can see. All right, let's go. Bye. Okay, so we are leaving Portsmouth, and that's a lot of fun. So it's a really slow moving ferry. I haven't noticed any like wobbling or shaking or anything. I I doubt there's going to be any seasickness issues, uh, but we'll see once we actually get out on the open water how choppy this thing is. It's about a 45 minute ferry. Uh, it's the Portsmouth to Fishborn uh, Fishborn line, and yeah, excited. Down here is where we had drinks the other day. Not the Spice Island then, but you'll see it soon. Is that is old Portsmouth. So far, we just got on and um, we were able to find a good spot on the boat. It hasn't been choppy at all. It's a really nice day out though. Um, so smooth sailing for us. We did go up on the top deck to take some photos and it was very windy and cold up there. So definitely if you're planning on doing that, bring like your warm weather gear. Um, but inside it's really, you know, very pleasant and warm. There's food, there's bathrooms and these great lounge areas. So um, overall, it's been a really great experience on the boat. All right, Eliz, what are we doing? Osborne House doesn't open until um, 10 a.m. And we were going to go to the Swiss Cottage, but apparently it's on the grounds of Osborne House. So Google told us that it opened at 9 a.m., but we could not get in. So we have driven to the nearest town and we're gonna try to go get some breakfast at the Lunchbox Cafe. We'll see what it's like. And to be fair, it was a little before nine when we tried to pull up there. So maybe it's open now, I don't know, but you know, we'll check it out later. For now, breakfast. Hey 
Hey guys, we are at the lunchbox now and ordered breakfast and it's absolutely enormous so I thought I would just show it to you before I dive in. So I got sausage with one egg and mushrooms on a baguette. Um, like literally just me. can we talk about the size here? <laughs> so Derek got got bacon, sausage, and two eggs on a baguette, and it is quite large. So hopefully this whole side is over here quite some time as we explore the island more. Okay, so that was a substantial breakfast, um, but very tasty. If you find yourself in the East Coast, or Cowes, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it, C-O-W-E-S, um, yeah, definitely stop at the Lunchbox Cafe. Very tasty. Yeah, and they have good lunch, too. Uh, we had breakfast, but the sandwiches all looked really good as well. Yeah, and you can do takeaways, so if you want to go do a picnic, you can do that as well. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, we were just able to come onto the grounds of Osborne House, um, even though it's a little bit after 9.30 and we don't have tickets until it opens at 10. Look at how stunning. Yeah, they said to just stay in your car until 10 o'clock when it opens, so we're just gonna chill. Maybe take a nap. Do a little car in it. <laughs> I like it. We found Paul. It's that tree. And here's a very cold he lives. It's really cold here today. How is the coldest day since uh, we got here? It's very easy. There's where we queue up to go on in. I'm, I feel like I'm bundled up like crazy. <laughs> you look bundled up like I crazy. I am so cold. Good thing you got such pretty eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's all you can see. But like everybody else in the line to get in was also cold, including the people that work here, so. Except for the one guy behind us in Hawaiian t-shirt. Yeah, well that guy was probably cold too. He just has like different ways of showing it.
Hey travelers, I'm now standing in the gardens at Osborne House here in the Isle of Wight. And this is one of the top attractions to visit once you come to the Isle of Wight. It's the old residence of Queen Victoria back in the 1800s, and it was her winter residence. So it's pretty far south here in England. And the gardens here are absolutely lovely. And when you visit, you can come and tour around the house and see a lot of the interior rooms, and they are absolutely breathtaking. There's not a lot of filming that's allowed in there, so we didn't get much, but we'll show some photos to you all. Um, and now we're going to go tour the grounds and hopefully walk all the way down to where she, Queen Victoria, had created a machine for bathing that kind of concealed her so she could change and um, she was able to use the WC or the restroom in this machine itself. So I've been very curious to see this since we got here and we're going to go to that next. Let's go. This estate is so impressive. I mean, just look at the detail on this bench. What a beautiful grounds to go walk around on. I don't know why you'd ever want to leave. Walking through the valley path, uh, heading down to the beach, which is where the bathing machine is located. So we're gonna go check that out. But this valley path is really interesting because back in the day when Queen Victoria lived here, um, apparently she and Prince Albert and all their kids would go to the beach down this path every single day. And the way to get to the house as a visitor was from the beach up this path. So many people. Um, saw the beautiful Osborne house for the first time from this path he came to visit. That is very cool. Okay, Queen Victoria somehow tracked down a sand beach um, for her property. Bravo to her. Look at this beach. How fun that would be for all of her nine children to grow up here and play here on the sandy beach. And that over there, friends, is the machine we were talking about. So we'll get a closer look in a second. This is the official bathing machine that we've been talking about. So what used to happen is Queen Victoria would go up on that veranda area and, and you know, undress and it was all very modest because honestly, uh, most of what women wore back then to bathe would cover almost all of the skin anyway but they had these for modesty and a horse would pull the carriage, which is on wheels, down into the water over here. And then they would use a, basically like a pulley system to get it back up the hill after she was done bathing. Um, she would do this a lot because Prince Albert apparently was convinced that bathing in seawater was really good for one's health. So it's really interesting to see um, what this looked like for her and apparently after her death this temporarily became a chicken coop at a nearby farm and then was brought back to Osborne and restored and <laughs> brought back here to the beach after being at the Swiss house for a little bit. So lots of interesting history with the, this but definitely a symbol of Queen Victoria's time at the sea. Hey everybody, so we just left the beach and we are on the rhododendron walk which leads from the beach up to the Swiss cottage. And the Swiss cottage is where a lot of Prince Albert and Queen Victoria's kids would play when they would come here to Osborne House and play at the beach. And we're pretty much by ourselves here. There's hardly anyone else on this trail, so. I think there's a dog behind us, but yeah. otherwise <laughs> it's pretty empty. Prince Albert built the Swiss cottages and the plot in the garden out front um, back over there. You can kind of see them. Uh, he built them for his kids based on his memories growing up in Germany as a kid and living in a Swiss style home at least part of the time. So pretty and so sweet of him as a father. Derek has decided to get a latte at the Gazelle House which serves coffee now. Um, and the Gazelle House is named after the fact that it housed one of Bertie which is um, the son of 
Victoria and Albert. Um, he brought back some gazelles, likely from a trip to Egypt, and had them here as pets. Okay, so I was just saying to Eliz that me as a child would love this place. Never could have built a fort like this as a kid. It's awesome. It's got cannons. It's got a little barracks. It's great. I would have totally played here. Gourds. Hey, we are walking towards our car now at Osborne House. Gonna move on to the next place, but just wanted to say it's been interesting kind of seeing there's a lot of um, like more older adults and senior citizens here that and I guess it's a Saturday and a lot it seems like a lot are meeting up with each other. There's um, also some younger families with like prams and stuff like that. Yeah um, but definitely everyone enjoying it of all ages. And when the sun is out it is glorious. Yeah so I wanted to show you guys this view of the ground. How beautiful is that? All right cheers. See you soon. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.